you know, have both the, the best of both worlds right in between. You can live here and not even really have to go to the beach, right? But you still have access to the city. So I'm sure you're actually getting quite a few people that work in town that still want to, you know, yeah. live down here. People you know, are so. buying homes here for a lot of reasons, but one one is exactly right. This has become sort of an entertainment corridor. There's yes. a reason why Tanger Outlet Mall is here. There's a reason why Top Golf opened across the street. Yep. You know, we are in a sort of entertainment corridor where people are driving down Interstate 45 to go to the beach in Galveston. And guess what? We're 20 minutes earlier than Galveston right, right. and safer and more beautiful, of course, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> right. But we, we've become this entertainment corridor, and we, we're, uh, we're benefiting from that. People want to live here, and that's why we're selling you know, so many homes per week, per month. Um, and we've gotten a great group of builders. We're really proud of our builders. We have national builders and regional, but best in class. So when you come here to look for a home, there's something for everybody from 180000 to 450000 And if you want to learn more about our builders, uh, it's lagomarintexascity.com. has a list of all the builders that are active here in the community. Lagoonhouston.com also has a link to all of our communities that actually have lagoons. We now have two communities with lagoons. Balmoral and Lago Mar, and we're adding a third soon and right. a fourth. So, oh, wow. yeah. yeah, Sierra Vista. I've uh, seen the site. Yeah, yeah Sierra so. Vista is going to have a lagoon that's almost twice the size of Balmoral, uh, which will be three and a half acres of water in a 20 acre amenity village. And oh, wow. that's pretty yeah. exciting. That's got, starting construction now. And then we're going to be adding another project very soon that we'll be announcing. Uh, well, actually, it's already been announced, uh, which is Sunterra in Katy. So oh, okay. Katie's also yeah. going to have a lagoon, another three and a half nice. acre lagoon. Yeah. So right now we have plans to build uh, those two additional lagoons and also a fifth lagoon, uh, which will be in uh, which we haven't announced yet. So I'm not really supposed to talk about it yet. But we're um, we're really proud of the Crystal Lagoon concept, and it, it yeah. certainly is. Um, it really fits with our DNA of providing a wonderful place where people are proud to live. And and you ask our residents, we've got lots of great resident testimonials. Because uh, because of what we offer, which is so unique. Awesome. So looking back from today, how long ago did, did the process start? Like, did you identify this piece of property, you know, off the freeway right. in yeah, Texas City? I, I was kind of curious. I mean, you know, obviously this didn't all come up overnight. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah so, it's, it's so Lantas has owned this piece of property for over 10 years. So it was okay. a long, oh, wow. long time in sure. the making and a long time in searching for the right amenity for this community. <clears throat> um, and... The Crystal Lagoon concept came out of South America. I actually used to work for Crystal Lagoons, and um, I was the one who introduced uh, the concept to Lanteas years ago okay. and got them to come down on a plane at that time to go to Cabo to see a lagoon. That, there was no lagoon in the United States. Yeah. So, And you know you have to see it to believe it because yep. you can't believe how big and beautiful and wonderful and how, how it could have an impact on people's lives without actually going to see one in person. So we went down to Cabo. And um, showed them the lagoon there, which is 10 acres. It's smaller than this one here. And you had Michael Phelps down there, right? Oh, yeah. Michael yeah, Phelps so. has come to some of our events here sure. as well. Balmoral. Yeah. Yeah, he's that's been right. our yeah. lagoon. He was a spokes- spokesperson for Crystal Lagoon. Sure. Yeah, that was neat. And uh, it was pretty exciting to have an A-list celebrity like that in front of the lagoon. Oh, yeah. Talking. I mean, yeah, A-list. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty neat. I mean, and he's tall. You know, I was I, I took some photos of them, and I look like I'm four foot. <laughs> yeah, you know, so he's a he's a big guy. Yeah. Uh, one of the other things we should talk about is that we just opened a restaurant recently at uh, Balmoral called the Blue Lagoon Blue Lagoon Bar and Grill. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's great food. Uh, the menu is inspired by Jonathan the Rub, the the executive chef there. It's a very similar menu. Uh, if you're familiar with those restaurants in Houston. And we just had to close it down because of uh, the freeze broke some pipes in the building, and yeah. we're, we're now fixing all of that. We should be open again in a few weeks. And the Blue, Blue Lagoon Bar and Grill is a restaurant concept that will be in our communities. Each one of our communities will have a restaurant, and okay. we're going to have the same restaurant here at Lago Mar. Nice. Okay. Uh, so it's going to where we're sitting today will be a beautiful restaurant where you can have a glass of wine or a martini and uh, basically a, a steak. Wonderful sandwiches and salads. Right. Great desserts. The desserts are amazing, by the way. And uh, <laughs> Food at a lot of resorts isn't the best, Ari. So I think you yeah. guys are really on to something. There's some places they've got decent grounds, nothing like this, but the food is, is not really up to par. And so, you know, yeah. you're really kind of forced to eat some kitty type things. And so to have options for, you know, all crowds, I think is excellent. One of the things that we do as the uh, executive team is we're constantly going to the restaurant and ordering pretty much everything on the menu and yep. tasting it. And uh, so we're in, we're in, we want to be sure that people are happy with the quality of the food. And it's excellent. I mean, and I'm not just saying that because I eat in Houston. I'm a foodie. I love to eat in all the great restaurants. And the, and the quality of the food that people can get at our restaurant is very, very good. 
Um, and well, you, you know what to you look for. Beat, so, and you can't yeah. beat the view. Can't yeah, beat the view. Yeah, being on the water. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Blue Lagoon Bar and Grill in Balmoral is the first ever restaurant uh, in the United States on a Crystal Lagoon, which we're pretty yep. proud of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And like you said, there'll be five of them here soon. You there'll know, be five so, of them. People yeah, will be having, yeah. uh, and by the way, when do you want to go eat at? You yeah, know? you have a great <laughs> meal and you finish it off with an espresso. I, have, I drink a lot of espresso, so we have a great espresso machine and you can watch uh, Jordan on his jet surf while you're having a meal. I mean, that, there's no, right. be, no <laughs> better right. entertainment than that. Yep, and then you can come try it out. You yeah, know? Come yeah. try it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, very cool. Um, yeah, so 10 years in the making. Was this, uh, so was this development was always in the works? Um, did they always know they were, I mean, did you guys have the land in Umble as well and Katie, or has that all kind of transpired as this concept has grown and just become more popular? So, so Lantas has been in business for over 24 years now. Okay. And uh, the company uh, is developing approximately 3,000 lots a year. So that makes Lantas the largest developer, residential developer in the Houston market. Wow, and yeah. uh, right now, uh, there are about 11 active projects. And we are always looking ahead to buy land in areas where people want to live that are close to um, growing prop, uh, population centers. So, for example, uh, right now, we're, we're in uh, title for more land. We usually like to have about 15,000 lots in our pipeline um, yeah. looking, looking ahead so that we can continue to grow at the same pace. And um, with the, this, this specific project uh, was 10 years in the making, but we're, we constantly have projects. A typical project will take about 5 to 10 years to, uh, to build out because sure. usually you're selling somewhere in the range of two to 300 homes a year without a lagoon. With a lagoon, you might sell five, 600 or 700 homes a year. Wow. At, at Balmoral, we sold uh, 840 homes last year. Wow. Yeah. yeah. A lot of homes. A lot of homes. <laughs> yeah. The market is hot, right? The market is very hot. You yeah, know. Houston is just, uh, it's an awesome place to live right now. Like you said, being a foodie, there's so much cool food here, um, you know, incredible restaurants, all sorts of access to the water, the lagoons, um, you know, so there's just, uh, it's a very diverse place to live. Um, so, yeah, I think people are coming here from all over. Uh, you know, they say people from New York are going to Florida, people from Cali are coming to Texas. And, uh, yeah. so yeah, there's just an influx of people buying houses that yeah. want to be on the water. People are trying to escape these expensive coastal cities and come to places like Texas. Yeah. And, uh, Houston is ideally positioned Houston and Austin people, um, who are aging into home ownership, the millennials and the Z, right. uh, they are basically looking for places where they have great live music, good food. And Houston and Austin are both cities that are really benefiting from that standpoint. And uh, we're, as Houston, of course, is the fourth biggest city uh, in the United States now. And we're going to eclipse Chicago in the next three to five years. I we'll always be, we'll tell people bigger. that. Yeah. 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 I'm always, always yeah. preaching it. So, so people will be like, New York, L.A., LA Houston. Houston. I know. Right? And, yeah. And that's a kind of uh, different thing because most people, when you meet people from other parts of the country, they don't realize that Houston is that big. Right. They don't even know it's the fourth, yeah. or they don't even yeah. know it's on the water. They it's don't know. That, yeah, they don't crazy. know. We, we have the biggest port in the, in the United States based on foreign-born tonnage. We have the largest and best medical center right. Uh, right. anywhere yeah. in the country. Space Center Houston. Yeah, space, uh, home, uh, home, I mean, human, home space, home flight. Human space yeah. flight. It's. Uh, I mean, there's been a lot of incredible things here. Right. I, th- you I think uh, yeah. I always talk about how after 9-11, they kind of evaluated all the cities, and this was the one area that actually has, you know, more between the medical, the port, space, uh, all, you know, Fortune 500 companies. It actually Flights has coming in, a wider range of, of valuable targets to protect than even so than New York City. Right. You know, just the, the greater Houston area. You know, yeah, like and the petrochemical, all the, the Fortune 500 companies. I mean, yeah, yeah so. just, just uh, the impact that uh, this area has for the rest of the country really is underrated and people don't realize it it's a beast it's very dynamic yeah. and, and yeah. there's a lot of moving parts to houston and like you so you can do so much here and now you can do this too i mean it's yeah. just it's crazy we well, needed this yeah texas um he, governor abbott has done such a great job you know we love governor abbott he has really made it a priority for to bring companies here you know we've had hp oracle all these companies coming to texas and yeah. you know he i really love his motto done. his motto is go go big in texas yeah and we've done that here at the lagoon yep. go big in texas city with this giant crystal clear lagoon and uh so we're following his lead and i think we're really lucky to live in this kind of environment where it's pro business we yes. want to make sure everybody has jobs we want to make sure everyone has a way to earn a living and um and texas is benefiting from that and certainly we're, we're excited to be part of it. Imp- improving infrastructure. There's new roads being put up all the time. You know, we're, we're building for, for new people living here, you know, the constant new development. Um, so it's, it's very fresh right now. There's a lot of new things you're seeing. 
Uh, and like you said, this is like a big, big corridor right now. I think this is where most of the development's kind of happening, and this is where most of the water-related activities are. So you guys couldn't have picked a, a better spot. Yeah. Yeah. What else you got, John? What? Uh, yeah, man. Well, I noticed that there's uh, there's yoga on uh, every right. every Saturday in March. So you know, just kind of highlighting a lot of events going on. I'm here. I'm going to get you access to that yoga class. Oh yeah, <laughs> I need it. I need it. Yeah, my flexibility yeah. is not one of my superpowers. Yeah, <laughs> I'd love to see that. I've been trying to get into it. Yeah, for for years, but I've always somehow resisted. Uh, I guess it's all the knee surgeries. But well, um, you know, we have another class called stand up paddleboard yoga. Ooh, where you actually take a yoga class while you're standing on a paddleboard. Ah, okay, I thought that's what we were. I you thought know, that's what he was talking that about here. We have regular yoga yeah, classes so, too. We have a regular, okay. yoga, which takes place. We have a, a normal yoga class right here on the patio, but then we have stand up paddleboard yoga, which is pretty amazing. There, you can't hurt your knee because you'll fall. In right, the water, right, you know. and, and the and the clean water. You know, I mean, yeah. actually, actually, I've always wanted to do the stand up paddleboard, and uh, I think this might be the, the location to try it out. Right? Yeah. I mean, there's no better place. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. I've, I've seen them. I mean, doing I, it. I, I live right off Taylor Lake, but um, you know, I think I think this might be a better location for uh, the the stand up paddleboard for sure. A little smoother water, and like you yeah. said, you can see what's going on underneath you. No alligators. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've seen them doing it at Balmoral, and the ladies seem to have, be having a good time. They were enjoying themselves. It was a nice class of, you know, 15, 20 girls out there, and I'm sure here they're even bigger now that they've been doing it for a while, so I think they have a good turnout. So, oh, yeah. Very like good. you said, you can do anything, you know, jet surf, kayak, sail, you know, paddle boarding. Um, yeah, it's you know, the floating yoga. docks over there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so many different things. So, yeah, they're very pro water sports here, and if you sign up online during certain events and certain times, you can utilize all those different activities right here at Lago Mar Lagoon. And I like that y'all are going to take advantage of the this, the local sailing community. Obviously, you know, we're no, this area is known for yacht clubs, the Wednesday night celebrate races. The I mean, you, third you've or fourth programmed. largest boating community in the nation. People don't realize. Right. So, yeah, John knows a lot about sailing, and I think that is very smart to tap into that. Uh, continue. But, yeah, people well, don't know how many sailboats are here, man. Right. Yeah. right. Well, and just all the youth sailing programs and just, uh, you know, so and th- that's great that there's going to be an opportunity to learn how to sail in a lagoon. Yeah, man. and the, the, our facility, the National Sailing Club at Lago Mar, is going to be partnering with United States Sailing. U.S. Okay. Sailing is um, the organization that is responsible for, um, is they're responsible for racing and they're sort of right. the, or, the overall organization for sailing in the U.S. Regattas and things. Regattas and, and yeah. things like that. Yeah. So they're, they're going to be uh, working with us to certify our facility so that all the staff are trained so they can provide people with certifications. And, um, and I grew up like going to visit my grandfather who lived on a sailboat and he lived kind of like a, Almost like he's camping, but uh, <laughs> I love I, lo- I love sailing, and I'm so happy that we have those types of um, those types of activities here at the lagoon. And that's definitely a point of difference from any other development I can think of. I mean, I think it's it's amazing that, like you said, it's a safe, uh, enclosed environment. And you know, it, a sailing might be intimidating for someone that just hops on a big boat, and there's so many people and things going on. For you to be able to hop on a boat that's a little smaller, more designed for learning, with that crew there to help teach you, um, you know, it's I think helps people get involved in it as opposed to being a little bit intimidated by it, right? So that's amazing that they're able to get the youth in safely and kind of um, at a softer approach. You know, because right. I mean, have, it kind of intimidates me, like yeah. as an adult, like <laughs> sailing. You know, <laughs> I was, we're really lucky here. The motto for the community here is "Life is a breeze," and that's no coincidence because we always have a nice. Right. Breeze. Right. We really have a nice breeze here, pretty consistently. So it's great for sailing. You know, the, and the winds, the direction of the winds, according to the sailing experts that have been here, they say it's perfect for traversing the lagoon back and right. forth. Oh, nice! Okay. So yeah. we're kind of ideally located. That was by accident. I don't think we, yeah. we didn't design the lagoon <laughs> yeah. exactly we, to be for sailing, but it actually works pretty that's well. That's good. We call that a happy mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, excellent, great. Well, I I really appreciate being on the show. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, you, you mentioned the two websites. Uh, the the one website was for the events. Yeah, I'll go over the website. Yeah. So lagoonhouston dot com. That's where you can get your tickets to spring break. Uh, get your tickets early because we are going to sell out. Um, Lagomar in Texas City.com. That is for the home buying. Uh, if you want to learn all about the builders that are involved in our community, Lagomar in Texas City.com. And of course, you can look up our company, which is Lagoon Development.com, and the, de- the land development company is Land Tejas. Uh, but I would re- recommend everybody go to LagoonHouston.com. That's where they can get their tickets for spring break. That's probably what they're most interested in. And uh, we're excited about announcing the summer activity, Lagoon Fest Texas, in the very near future. Tickets are not on sale for that yet. Uh, but um, we encourage people to come. They can get access to the lagoon uh, three different ways. They can get access to it by coming to our marketing center, 
and registering for a free pass to use a residential beach. Mm. So our, we have a marketing center right on the corner of Lagomar Boulevard. And, so that's uh, the info center in the that's front info of center, the development, that's right. correct. That's okay. a marketing center, the yep. info center. People can come there and uh, register for a free ticket, or they can buy a home. When you buy a home...